my lovely people and welcome to your readings for 2019. So the way that I am doing the readings for the year, having had a chat with my angels about it, is that I have separated the Gilded Tarot into the Major Arcana and the Minor. I've removed the Minor Arcana. I'm going to just use these 22 cards to give you an overall energy for each of the 12 months, one card for each of the 12 months. Then I'm going to clarify each month with the Lenormand deck to give more information about the energy. I hope this helps. Let's get into the readings. Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading for 2019. It's looking pretty good guys. We're starting in January with the world which is all about expansion and new beginnings. We'll talk about that in a minute but this card of the world is the energy for you for the year. It's all about expansion and things opening up. And by the end of the year, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is that cycle has finished. You have expanded. So we have in January the world, the Empress of February, the Sun for March, death in April, something ending here that needs to end, which is then bringing you in more strength in May. In June, we've got the Hanging Man. And in July, the Emperor... August the Lovers, September the Star, October the Tower and November the Magician and then finishing off with the Wheel of Fortune. Don't panic about this because the card's either side of it. This, whatever's ending here, needs to end because you're the star and then you're creating something brand new out of it so it's all good okay so let's talk about the world first of all the world card the number 21 is actually the last card a 22nd card in the major arcana because the fool is zero okay so the world is all about uh closure completions all right you've completed all the lessons you needed to know, if you think about the 22 major arcana cards, you've worked through them all, you've come to the end, and that opens you up and opens your world up for a brand new cycle. Now, for some of you, they're giving me a five-year cycle has come to an end. So whatever has been going on, normally it's seven-year cycles, but I'm feeling for you guys it's over the last five years and it feels done, it feels finished and a whole new beginning. Now, I've been saying in December 2018 that the energy feels different, lighter, brighter, and it is because here you go, starting the year with this beautiful opportunity here to put all of that behind you. I've learned, I've taken the growth, I've made changes, I feel different different in myself and I feel ready for something new. So what is that newness? Let's have a look what the Lenormand want to add. What is this opening up for? Oh lovely, okay that is the card of luck. Luck and opportunities, taking risks where it feels right to do so. Okay, this card number 39, the dice is risks and gambles. Sometimes uncertainty, a little bit like the Fool card because it talks about a leap of faith. A leap of faith and a new beginning. And as you go into that leap of faith, this beautiful world starts to open up. It opens up chances and opportunities. So we have a real new beginning for you, Pisces, for this year, a brand new start. When you put these together, this is kind of the Fool card with the World card. The World is the last card and the Fool is the first card. You're definitely beginning a brand new cycle, which is opening up your world, your opportunities, doorways opening. It is a brand new year and a brand new opportunity for you. Wow, lovely. All right, now as we come to February, because this energy, don't forget what I said, is moving through the whole year. It's all about something new and different and better, and it's good. It's a really positive, strong year for you. The Empress coming in in February is you stepping into your Empress power. She's powerful. She's balanced. She's in charge. She's 
relaxed, she's happy, she's content, she knows who she is, she's connected up and down, you know, above and below, inside and out, she's totally connected to who she is, she knows who she is and she's proud of who she is. Now the card coming with it is the rider. The card number one, which is about new beginnings, leadership, you standing up for who you are, you standing in your power. I know what I want and I'm going to go get it. I've had this brand new beginning. I've got all of this energy of new opportunities coming in and I'm going to grab them with both hands and say, thank you very much. I am open to receiving. Now the rider, here she is. Let me bring it up for you to see a little bit better. Okay. The rider is the card she's on the horse the horse is riding a rainbow and she's carrying a letter all right now this is news coming in you've been creating these opportunities in in um, january and that can be new love a new job a new home a new you you know for some of you transforming and changing your health your well-being your attitudes your thinking any area that it feels right for you it's going to mean different things for different people but whatever it is you're taking a chance on there's news here coming in in february she's bringing this letter it's good news because of that beautiful rainbow so there's something lovely coming in here for you which is going to make you happy because the card next to it is the sun and the sun is about creativity. I am creating, I am shining brightly, I'm in my joy, my power, my sense of confidence and self-belief. I know I can be and do anything. I'm feeling so, so good. And the card that wants to come with it is the dog. I love this card. He's so sweet, isn't he? Look at him. <laughs> All right. The dog represents loyalty. Loyalty friendship connections that are really making you feel very very happy it's about trust and support and it's reliable reliance whatever this is coming in it can be a relationship coming in it can be a friendship it's something coming in which is just going to give you that extra support and it feels lovely so those of you started a new relationship here this relationship is supportive, loyal, reliable, lovely. If it's a new job, you're going to find support with your colleagues or your boss. This feels lovely. Now, on the back of this, we've got something ending. And why is this something ending here in April? Well, if you look at these three and put them together, I've grown, I've expanded, I'm having new opportunities, I'm much more confident, and that's going to highlight areas of my life that are against this, areas that might be destructive or weak or negative, and you just are in this power going, do you know what, I don't need that anymore, I don't need that. I don't want it anymore. Now, we could be ending um, old cycles, old behaviours, uh, addictions. You could be ending relationships, friendships. Whatever it is that's in the way, you're saying, I'm not that person anymore. It doesn't fit. It's going. Okay, so something is ending there. Let's see what the cards want to add to that. Yeah, we definitely got something ending here. All right, this card, which is the whip and the broom, is about, you know, you use that broom to clear away the debris. Uh, whip whip it into shape get rid of it yeah we are really moving in um it, there is with this card can also sorry can't get my words out um this card also talks about um conflict um arguments difficulties challenges and you're ending them right because we've got the ending card there you're saying no you know i'm going to use that broom to just cut that crap out of my life i don't need that conflict i'm in a really good place and whatever or whoever is trying to bring me down trying to wind me up trying to give me any hassle i'm not having it anymore because i'm a different person whoever this is or whatever this is that was trying to create drama and conflict you are getting rid of it and as a result you are much, much stronger, much stronger, all right? So there's whoever or whatever this is was affecting your strengths and you realise that here. You realise it with as your sun is coming out. You realise it as you've got these lovely people being supportive and helpful and loyal. It really highlights who isn't loyal, 
all right it highlights who isn't supportive and you say oh, i'm not having it that can go and as it goes it enables you to be much stronger as a result you know we all have if we look around us we will see that there are some people in our life who are a little bit toxic and pull us down and we often are just patient saying well nobody's perfect and you know there's some good things about them but actually as you're getting to this stage here in April you're saying yeah but why do I put up with it why do I want that no I'm not having that anymore it can go so there's a shift here an ending of something going on in April which is really going to help your power and the card coming with the power is the wishing well lovely this is a little bit like the magician here what do you want to wish what do you want to put in your well, your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations? You can now because you're strong enough and whatever or whoever this was has gone. So you can now have a whole new kind of wish list of what you want for yourself. And that's lovely. Now, as you come to the midway point in the year here in June with the hanging man, this is all about based on this. You're looking at things in a different perspective. You're seeing things differently. If you just look at him hanging upside down there, he's not fighting, he's not struggling. He's kind of going, right, okay, well, you know, that is the way it is. I'm seeing things from a different perspective. Imagine hanging from a tree and looking at a leaf from the underside of the leaf. It looks completely different from the top side of the leaf. It enables us to see more, see different, see, see a different perspective. And as a result, we act in a different way. And the card coming with it is the compass, which is about direction. So it starts to move you into a different direction because you're seeing things differently. You're looking at things differently. And so it enables you to start to adjust your compass. Now, this could be your moral compass. For some of you, it is. They're giving me the words moral compass. So you may be shifting your moral compass here. For others, you're going in a different direction completely relating to any particular area of your life could be a, 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 a relationship uh, a friendship a job so if it was a relationship for example it might be that you're in a relationship where you're just friends uh, casual you know casual relationship and you suddenly see things from a different perspective and you want to shift it into a more serious committed relationship equally with uh, an area of your life about home perhaps you wanted to move home you suddenly seeing things in a different perspective here on the back of this strength and saying actually I'm not going to move I'm going to be happy with the home that I have but there is a different direction you're ch shifting direction here all right maybe you were going forward and you decide now I'm going to go you know stay where I am I don't want to move forward after all maybe I was going for big promotions and I've realized I'm better off where I am you know whatever this is there's a shift in direction come back to this in June and see what this is about okay as we're moving into July, we've got the Emperor. Beautiful, male, strong, God energy. Very powerful. It's the balance with the Empress underneath here in February. So you've brought in your, your feminine side, intuition, instincts, feminine power. And here you're bringing in your masculine power. So everything's yin and yang. When we can balance the two, it's beautiful. Okay, like Mars and Venus together, formidable. One on their own is good, but the two together is beautiful better so here we are in july with you stepping up into your emperor energy now the card that wants to come with it let's have a look what wants to come okay we've got the book this is the book of knowledge. This is the book of knowledge and secrets, hidden knowledge, needing to know. You're needing to know your power here. You're needing to know how powerful am I? How secure am I? What else could I bring in with new knowledge that's going to strengthen me up even more? You're needing to know your own power because you're going to harness it as we move through this area here because as we come into august we've got the lovers so there's knowledge here coming to the surface knowledge coming in new knowledge being aware of and this is enabling you in august to really focus on 
Mm, it's relationships with yourself and significant other. It can talk about a new romance, a new love coming in, a deepening of the love that you have. It's also a card of choices and decisions. Now, the card coming with it is the, the clouds there, okay? Now, the clouds is about conflicts and doubts and change. Now, we've had this book of knowledge here. And so as we are having this new knowledge coming in, sorry, getting a little bit croaky, this new knowledge is predominantly about the way we are viewing our relationship. Now, this can be, this is a card of conflict, but if we look at the card, the sun is coming out. So you are overcoming here some conflicts and doubts. This, these two are linked, all right? So as I'm looking at this book here, which is about secrets, hidden knowledge, hidden awareness coming up, that might bring some conflict with it, but you are then clearing that conflict, which is strengthening things up. And as a result, as we come to September, you're feeling much brighter. You are very much in the hope. These doubts have gone wobbles have gone you are back well i wouldn't say back because this is stronger it's as if you've gone up a notch into a much more empowered place within yourself on the back of the emperor and making this decision to find out what you need to know so you can let the doubts and wobbles go and the sun can come out and that brings in this very strong new hope and dreams and aspirations of wanting something for yourself that is bigger, better, brighter. We've got the woman coming in with that. Now, as I'm looking at this card for you, for those of you who are for men or same sex, this can be a, a female coming in that is bringing your hopes and dreams and wishes in a romantic way. For others, this can be a female boss coming in that is, is bringing in an aspiration of promotion or a better job. But there is a, a link here with a woman linked to your dreams and your hopes. For some of you, this can be your mother that you are, you know, wanting, wishing something for your mum. But there is an, a link here between dreams and hopes and aspirations and a female figure that is around you or coming in. Okay. Now, as we go to October, something's shifting, something's ending, something's breaking that was broken. All right. So it's really helping you to see here in October, there was something that was destructive is the word they're giving me i don't always see the tower in that way um i'm not seeing that it's breaking as destructive i think whatever was destructive is breaking that way round. okay so something destructive is now falling away falling down falling away from you and away from your life so is linked here with these dreams and aspirations in September and this strong female energy coming in to help and assist you which means that what was in the way and destructive is then falling away and the card that I want to bring with it ah fab is the abundance card this card of the fish is the card of abundance, flow and ease. So whatever was destructive, blocking your flow or in the way, it's fallen away and that enables this beautiful sense of uh, abundance and flow to come your way. Now that abundance can be in any direction, an abundance of love, romance, an abundance of finances, an abundance of peace and harmony, uh, whatever it's going to apply to you it's going to mean different things but we've got out of the back of that falling away this abundance so when the tower comes for you in October welcome it embrace it realize that whatever is falling away needs to go and it's going to open you up to an, a, a much greater abundance than you've ever known and out of that abundance you are creating all right, when we have flow, when we have ease and we have enough money and we have enough love, we can create anything. It increases our power, increases our ability to manifest and create because come November, you are in the magician power to be able to manifest, harness, to create anything you want to create. And whatever it is you're creating here is coming to the end of a cycle for you to then begin again whatever it is that is being created so what is it that's coming in here 
So we've got news, higher knowledge, higher learning, greater awareness, greater power, greater insight here with the owls. There is something coming in November that is really enhancing your knowledge. And out of that, you are manifesting a beautiful ending of a cycle and the opening up of a new one. The Wheel of Fortune is karmic, fated, destined, meant to be. This is all meant to be and it's growing bit by bit to get to that point. And the card that is coming with it is this opportunity. This is equivalent to the Two of Wands in the Ordinary Tarot. We've got this staircase here and reaching a point of having an opportunity to go in two different directions. And both those directions lead to an open door. So you can't go wrong. Whichever way you go, you've got an open door. And it looks absolutely stunning. So we have a new opportunity that you're ending the year on that you have created that you have brought to you and this new opportunity this new way this new direction is just opening things up in a just a beautiful way for you to move into 2020 so what I suggest my beautiful Pisces is that you have a look at your moon and your rising as well to get a greater picture Keep this video, if it feels right for you, to stick it into your liked video so that you can refer back to it. Although I will put the link to this on all of the monthlies through the year. But check back periodically to see where you're at so that you can harness the energies of each of these months to work with the energies to help you move forward. All right, my darlings, I hope that helps. And I will see you soon for more messages from your angels and higher self. Take care, Pisces. Loads of love. Bye-bye.